Hey everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome back. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I'm really excited for today's video because I will be doing a massive unboxing of some nail products that were sent to me by an awesome brand called Shani Cosmetics. I will also be creating this fun spring and summer festival nail art look with some of the products after the unboxing. Make sure to skip ahead if you're here just for the nail art tutorial. Otherwise, let's just get into unboxing all this nail mail. So Shani was extremely generous in sending me this huge PR package. I'm so grateful. Thank you so, so much to them. The box is so massive, it hardly fits on camera. So opening up the big box, it looks like it's filled with a bunch of little boxes. There's a couple of these little brown boxes with Shani's name and logo on it. There's also this one longer one. Oh, we also got a few goodies and nail art tools at the bottom here. There's a cute pack of five pink dotting tools, a whole little manicure kit called the Metropolitan Mani. It comes with all the tools you need, including a pair of purple tip cutters. The last thing we have is this adorable little bundle of 48 mini bottles of nail art decorations. It comes with a bunch of different decorations, including nail art glitters, flakies, 3D embellishments and studs, and so on. So now let's go ahead and open up all of these little brown boxes. There's this gorgeous set of nail polishes in this first one. It seems like there's just a different collection of colors in each box. This one looks like some pretty metallics. Next, we have some beautiful pastel colors. This one looks like some gorgeous, rich fall colors. Wow, this long box has so many. It looks like a good mix of a bunch of different shades. Last but not least, Oh cool, this is a bunch of nail art stripers. I'm going to quickly open up each package so we can get a little bit of a better look at the collections. So in each bundle of polishes, you get a little thank you card with some info on it. And the polishes also come on their own little tray stand that you can leave on your desk to keep them organized. So this first one is called the Tropical Collection. Really pretty for the summer. This next one is called the Edgy Collection. This is a collection of 12 metallic polishes. This collection is called the Pastel Collection. Super cute for this time of year.
The next bundle of polishes is called the Funky Collection. This next one is a bigger collection of 24 polishes instead of the 12 packs we've been seeing. It is called the Cosmopolitan and it has a really nice mixture of colors and glitters and effect polishes. This would be a perfect starter kit for someone because it has a good range of colors to get you started off in doing nails. Now let's open up and take a better look at the nail stripers. Oh my gosh, you know what I noticed? This set of stripers seems to match perfectly with the polishes from the Cosmopolitan collection. That's really cool. You can have a matching striper for each polish. This collection of nail art stripers is called Famous Colors. So you can see here, they really match spot on. These two sets together would be a neat gift idea. So that's all for this unboxing. Thank you again so, so much to the lovely team at Shiny for really spoiling me with all this. I can't wait to dive right in and get to using all of these colors and nail art goodies. I'm feeling super inspired by all the pretty bright colors. Let's go ahead and use some of these awesome looking products to create a fun festival nail art look. We're gonna start off with painting our first two nails with a white base. We're gonna paint the ring finger with an aqua blue polish. And a natural nude color on the pinky. Once dry, we're then gonna go ahead and apply a second coat of color to each of those nails. Now that we have our bases down, we can start with the nail art. Using this stunning neon yellow shade, we're gonna apply that halfway up the nail from the base. Then we're gonna go in with this electric orange and paint the remainder of the nail. Lightly blending the two colors where they meet. Now we're gonna diffuse any harsh lines by creating a gradient with the same two colors. So I'm gonna apply the yellow and orange polishes to a makeup sponge and dab that onto the nail. Repeat these steps two to three times until the colors are nicely blended together. For the next nail, I'm gonna start off with using this super pretty bright pink polish. And I'm just gonna brush it on in little random patches all over the nail. Taking the same aqua blue color from before on a little piece of makeup sponge, I'm gonna start dabbing that all around the nail, overlapping the pink in some spots. I'm gonna do the same thing with some of the pink again to blend the colors and create a cloudy look. I was finding the nail a little too dark, so I'm gonna be adding some of a lighter blue polish to it and sponging it on the same way. I'm just gonna keep alternating between the pink and blues. Just dabbing and blending until I'm happy with the final result. Clean up any excess polish you may have gotten around the cuticle. And we're gonna move on to the next nail. Taking Shiny's super sparkly silver polish, I'm gonna apply two coats of that on top of the blue base. We're gonna set that nail aside to dry and we're gonna move on to the pinky. Taking the white striper, I'm gonna paint on a smile line at the tip of my nail. And then fill that in. Surprisingly, this made doing a French tip extremely easy. Now I'm gonna go on top of that with the same electric orange from earlier and paint in the whole white tip.
Now taking the same bright pink color, but in the striper this time, I'm gonna trace the base of the orange smile line. Lastly, we're gonna go in with the silver sparkly striper to add a little accent. And I'm gonna draw a line in between the orange and pink. I ended up going back into the middle nail and kept tweaking it by adding on more of the light blue and pink polish. I just kept alternating between colors, sponging it on until I was finally satisfied with the level of blend and cloudiness. I wanted to crack into the little nail art decoration kit to see what I could use to add to this manicure. It comes with this cute little pair of slanted black tweezers and a bunch of different decorations. I decided to create my own custom glitter mixture. I'm gonna use their silver, pink, and white glitters and mix a bit of each in a little dappin' dish. I'm gonna apply one more coat of the silver sparkly polish to my ring finger again. And sprinkle my little glitter mixture right on top as the base is still wet. And that's it. Finish off the look by locking it all in with a glossy top coat. And that's it for this nail art look. I ended up using quite a few of these shiny products and I really, really love how this look turned out. The look really ties in all together quite nicely as I was able to incorporate a little bit of each polish color in the other nails. I find this look perfect for any upcoming festivals or summer events you may have. It's super bright, sparkly, and fun, and I love it so much. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you again to Shani for all the lovely nail goodies. I'll see you all soon. Take care.